What's up guys, Agent Amra with 911 Gadgets. This is a long awaited video that a lot of people have been asking for. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to run a cell phone repair business from home. If you guys stick around for the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like out there and how we're having fun because I decided, first of all, to open a cell phone repair business and secondly, to go from local to home business, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, local is also fine. You can also have free time, but you need employees. I decided to not have employees anymore just because it's less headache, but that's just me, guys, all right? You guys are your own person. You guys decide how much, uh, work you want to do and not everybody's wired the same plus I have a family I have three boys and a wife I want to spend time with them and I think time is more important for me than money at this point in my life and I'm glad I found that out but everybody's different okay I don't bash on anybody even having a nine-to-five job is okay like people it's fine you know it just depends on what you're happy with if you're happy with your life, you're happy. You know, nobody can take that from you. Don't let nobody tell you anything, okay? I often tend to push that on people a little bit on, man, you know, we should have the freedom. But I, I fail to ask the person, you know? Maybe I should ask first, hey, would you like freedom or are you happy where you're at? If they say you're happy where they're happy where they're at, then I need to stop, you know, because you need to respect people, you see? Um, but sometimes I tend to forget that stuff. So I'm sorry for if I push things on people. But if you guys um, are not happy 100% where you're at at the moment, and you do want another way, then you can reach out to me, okay? And I can try to help you in whatever way I can. And this goes out to everybody that's watching right now, and in particular, to my family. As you guys can see, I'm right here in the cabin, enjoying time with my family. Now, I decided to do the video here because over the weekend I encountered a couple of situations where it made me realize and appreciate more the freedom that I have. I want to help people have the same freedom. Whether you own a cell phone repair business already, whether you work for a company, or if you're just watching YouTube because it's 1 a.m. and you can't go to sleep, I hope this video helps you in some way or some form. Over the weekend, some of my family and I gathered over to spend some time at the snow and the kids were having a lot of fun. We all enjoyed it and we ended up, uh, we stayed here Friday night and Saturday night, but Saturday night we got blessed with an even better cabin and we could stay longer. However, some of our family members had to go back to work on Monday. And that's the truth with a lot of our families. I'm pretty sure like 90% of our families have to go back to work. I was able to go ahead and reschedule my appointments from Monday and Tuesday for Wednesday. So what I did was I called them up and I told them, hey, I planned a little mini vacation and we ended up uh, staying a little bit longer. So it just made me realize how blessed we are and how fortunate we are to be able to do that and not have to go report to some other company, you know? Family, if you guys are watching this, I love you guys and we're gonna try to move on and try to become a little bit more free. I love you guys. So I could have never done this if I had a local shop, unless I had employees. So a lot of people ask me, what's better, a home office, working from home, or having a brick and mortar store? And the truth is guys, that they're both very, very good opportunities. They're both very good businesses. You can't go wrong with either, you know? It's up to you how much work you wanna put in and how much time. You guys heard Puff Daddy say, or the song, I don't know who it was, but, the more money, more problems. See? And it, ooh. And it's true, okay? I've had shops, I've done mobile repair, and I've done home repair. I like to think of home and mobile repairs as the same thing, because if you're working from home, but you have that customer that wants you to come to their house, you can charge that extra $50 convenience fee or whatnot, or travel fee or gas, whatever you wanna call it. The only thing is, if you go out and you're making that extra 50 bucks, you might be losing a customer that can come to your place. So it's kind of, you know, you kind of figure it out. Um, you might be able to make more if you offer mobile, just because of that bigger area you can serve. Um, but to me, I just, I, I count them in the same category. So five to 10,000 a month, maybe 15,000. If you do mobile, you might hire a tech that just goes and does the, the mobile repairs, the house calls, you know? 
So you could have an advantage from just working from home. You can offer the mobile and, but now you have to hire a tech, you know, more money, more problems. Uh, it's totally up to you guys. One more thing that is asked a lot is, should I open a LLC, a corporation, a sole prop? Guys, for the first two years that I was doing business as phone and computer repair, I had none of that, not even a city business license. So my advice to you is try it out first for maybe a month or two or three months, maybe a year, try it out. And then you can decide, okay, let me see what I want to do. Do I want to do a sole prop, LLC, etc. If you have questions regarding the difference between those three things, ask me in the group or leave me a comment down below. But for now, if you're just starting out, don't really worry about it. Either way, the city you're in will most likely give you a warning. If they do find that you're doing business in their city, they're going to probably give you a warning and you'll have enough time to go ahead and get that business license, etc. Worry about getting that money in first. So there's a question that a lot of people ask whether to do it from home, to do it mobile. Um, when you do it mobile, a lot of customers let you come into their house, right? If they don't feel comfortable letting you inside their house, you can, um, in our group, we have a bunch of people who have special equipment that they use in their cars. Some of them are like, a, it's a steering wheel table. It attaches to the steering wheel and you can fix it right there. And another thing that you need that's very important is a power inverter. I'm not exactly sure which one, but if I can figure it out or if I can find out, I'll, I'll ask some people in the group. I'll leave a link in the description and you guys can buy that. And that is to power your heat gun, unless you use one of these wireless heat guns are like 12, 20 volts or something. Um, I hear they're, they're a little pricey, like 150 to 200, but you can use those. At home, you get less customers, but you get less headache. You might be thinking, why less customers? Well, you obviously don't want a whole bunch of cars outside parked in your neighborhood waiting to get their phones fixed because your neighbors might complain that you're having a block party or something and you don't want that, so. It's best to do appointment only, not only for the safety of your home, but also for your time management. But again, totally up to you. Less money, okay? Mobile repairs probably get a little bit more than home because you can probably mix it up between both of them. And also you could drive around to, to a broader location. You can advertise yourself for a broader location, right? Broader areas, different cities. Brick and mortar, you're stuck at one place, but you get people driving to you, calling you, everything. So you get more customers with the brick and mortar. And the reason for that is because with a brick and mortar, normally customers can just go and park and come right into your store. They don't have to make an appointment. They don't have to wait around. People find you easier on the maps. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons why you get more customers with a brick and mortar. Right now I'm at home at the cabin. I put a voicemail on my shop phone. So I'm actually recording with my personal phone, but here's my, my shop phone right here. So I put a voicemail on there in case I don't answer, in case I'm playing in the snow with the kids or something. I mean, you can always answer, I'm on a vacation, but hey, it doesn't hurt to answer and tell the customers, hey, I'm on a quick family vacation. Um, I'll be back on Wednesday, you know. Uh, the voicemail says, thank you for calling 911 Gadgets in Lake Elsinore. I am out in a mini vacation, but if you wait for me till Wednesday when I get back, I will give you 50% off your repair. Guys, 50% off is okay. You're still gonna profit money off of that. Plus, you're gonna gain a customer, and it's very, very appealing for the customer. Wow, 50% off, this guy must be good. Awesome, you know? So you leave that in your voicemail anytime you wanna go on a vacation, all right? Now, if I had a brick and mortar store, I would have to um, leave an employee there. Unfortunately, guys, people show up to your business just like that, and I've had bad reviews in the past because I decided to not go to work, or an employee called off or something, and they left a bad review, okay? And they said, man, these guys are closed, bad business, etc. So you're kind of tied down to that. Again, I'm not saying it's bad, all right? I'm just saying, I, I per personally prefer not to be tied down. And honestly, it's less money. But if you know how to manage your time and your money and all that, then you should be okay. Because remember, you're making about five to 10,000 a month with the home-based business. Not to mention all the free time you're gonna have. I'm appointment only now, okay? Because I don't want people just showing up to my house. So on Google, Yelp, Bing, and all that, I'm, a, I'm appointment only. I'm gonna say what you need to start your home repair business, okay? Or if you're transitioning from a local uh, brick and mortar store to a home business, this video should help you out. You guys can reach me at 951-399-7911 or join our group, 911gadgets.com forward slash cell phone repair training. 
get the $39 curriculum, join our team, and ask any question you want in our group. You can tag me on there and I'll respond as soon as possible so that others can also learn, okay? We're also starting our license agreement. So if you're interested, send me an email and in the subject put license agreement. You guys will be able to use the 91 Gadget's name. We'll get more into detail in that when, we, when you reach out to me, okay? So these are the things that you need to do. Similar to the video that I posted about a year and a half ago on how to open a cell phone repair business, Sim similar steps. So if you guys haven't seen that video, go down to the description, click on that link. That's the video that started it all. And I love you guys for, for the support. Thank you so much. Like I said, you guys have questions, please reach out to me, okay? I'm gonna go over those five key points real quick right here, okay? Key point number one, motivation. Why, why work for yourself? Guys, look at where I'm at. Look at my kid Bradley right there. Bradley, what are you doing? Hanging out? Where are the dogs at? In the snow. That's the reason why the first thing I said in this video and, and the reason I'm back here at this cabin, guys, is the freedom, okay? Watch that other video. I mean, I can say the same things all over again, but just watch that video. I'm gonna, this is real quick. I don't have to work for anybody right now, okay? I don't have to report to anyone. I make my own schedule. And you can do this with cell phone repair. Guys, cell phone repair is very lucrative. Everybody has a phone, you know? So you can do all kinds of other things. And something that was brought to my attention over the weekend too is um, my, my brother-in-law, who I love dearly, he he does gardening, okay? But he also has his, his, his normal job. Now his wife told me, my sister-in-law, she's like, yeah, the gardening is cool, but it's backbreaking. And sometimes I see him coming all tired. I'm like, man, I never thought about that. And with phone repair, it's not backbreaking at all. We have an amazing person that's about to join our group as well. She is a life coach. She teaches you and she coaches you through life. So we're gonna have her as a guest in our group, but she's gonna bring a lot of value to our group, okay? So go get that curriculum and uh, let's grow together. It doesn't matter what business it is. You guys can do nails, you guys can do cell phone repair, gardening, you can do anything as long as you're working for yourself. You can schedule your appointments at however you like, okay? Especially if you're good with customer service and you're good with your clients and you're good at what you do, you know, your customers will wait for you. Unless it's an emergency, then it's understandable, you know? There's so The thing is, with phone repair guys, there's so many customers. I fixed the phone here, out in the cabin, you know, when we got here, somebody needed a phone repair, and I hooked him up because he helped us, you know, find a few sleds and, and stuff like that. But, okay, so that's the motivation part, guys. What tools and inventory, number two is tools and inventory, okay? You need one piece of each screen, for iPhone and one battery, okay? iPhone is number one, 85 to 90% of our customers are iPhone users, okay? You can stock up on Samsungs if you want, but that's just a lot of money. You don't really need them to, to be honest because a lot of people just, uh, it's, it's uh, not everybody says yes when you quote them, you know? And I have tricks on how to convince them to say yes, so join our team and I'll, I'll show you that. A lot of our group members already know. Regarding the tools, you need the heat gun, you need the screwdrivers, you need some picks. They're all in the cell phone repair starter toolkit on our website. It's also linked in the description. You also need a POS system so you can track your inventory. Uh, most importantly, so you can track your customer base and you can be more official. Uh, I also sell the POS system, so just reach out and we can get it installed for you. That's number two. Number three, you need unlocking. You need unlocking sources. So, you know, if you have the sources for that, you can start making money with that as well. We have all these sources, okay, in our curriculum. Number four, how to buy and sell phones. We teach you how to do the eBay, we teach you how to do OfferUp, Craigslist, all that stuff, how to buy, how to check a phone before you buy it, how to buy low, okay? And number five, and the most important of them all, next to inventory, because you need inventory so you can be able to say yes to customers the same day, right? But number five, guys, even people who take my curriculum, who take, who get the curriculum, don't do this, and I had to create a video, a welcoming video for the curriculum, um, where it's, it stresses and emphasizes on why it's so important to get number five done, okay? I'm gonna give you these tips right now. Do them right now, even if you don't buy the curriculum, I'm giving you these tips for free. You know, number five is marketing, right? The first thing you guys need to do, if you wanna start a business, doesn't matter what business it is, okay? 
Right now we're talking about cell phone repair. All of these key points, including number five for marketing, should be applied to a home, mobile, or brick and mortar repair shop. Number one thing, you need to put your business name. If you don't have a business name, just come up with anything for now. As long as you have an online presence, okay? It could be Charlie's Cell Phone Repair. Or if your name is Matt, Matt's Cell Phone Repair. If your name is Candice, Candice Cell Phone Repair. It doesn't matter, just come up with something quick, you know? And you can change it later. Or just join our license agreement and you don't have to worry about any of that. Okay, you need the name and a phone number, all right? You go to Yelp.com or just go on Google and search and just put create a Yelp listing, okay? That's number one. You're gonna create a Yelp listing, and of course, it's gonna have an option, uh, it's gonna have a section where to put a, a URL for your website. So you're gonna need a website that can come after you create this li the listings, unless you wanna knock that out first, so you can just do everything at once, okay? Create a Yelp listing, go to Google and search, create a Google My Business listing, and then go uh, also to Google, <laughs> Google's the king, right? And go to create a Bing listing. Create a Bing, B-I-N-G listing, which is Microsoft, Microsoft's version of Google search, okay? So you get Yelp, Google, and Bing, all right? Then you have your website. I have a website that I clone for a small fee compared to three, four, or five hundred dollars that people usually charge. I have a clone that a lot of the members already used. It's a clone of my personal local website and it's optimized for high Google rankings. So if you guys want that, when you're in those five, in the five things to do for marketing, let me know. We'll get that going for you ASAP. Just reach out. You don't even have to be part of the curriculum, um, part of the group to take advantage of that, okay? And your phone number. So these five things, guys, will get customers at your house or better at your phone, and then you can schedule the appointment, okay? Get those five, those five things first. This way or this way, it doesn't matter how you do it. Those five things, and trust me, you will get phone calls. Now, you can do this with any business, okay? Be prepared to take uh, square, uh, debit credit cards, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal and Cash App. Be prepared for those five things. Sign up with Square. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So use my link so we can both get some discounts from Square, okay? So get a Square account now. PayPal, uh, uh, search on Google like PayPal payment processing or just create a PayPal account and they can just send you money through PayPal as friends and family or as a service. Um, and then number three, uh, Venmo, create a Venmo account, and Zelle, Z-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, get Zelle, and also a Cash App. I think Cash App is part of Square. I think Square owns Cash App, but you need those five things, okay? Get them today, and uh, that way your customers can pay through those five methods, or cash, or cash, so. What else do you guys need? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> what else do I do? Advertising, like I said, that marketing, those five things for marketing, that's about it. Do not pay for Yelp ads right now. Wait till you have like 10 to 15 good reviews. But even before you start advertising with anybody, they're gonna be calling you. They're gonna call you and call you, hey, we can offer you $300 for ads. Uh, right now we have a promotion. Please say no. Yelp, you're gonna hate me, but call me and we'll talk. The reason is, um, I try to reach out to Yelp, you know, I have a lot of people who can probably use ads, but they, I don't know, they don't wanna work. But the CEO of Yelp will talk to me one day once 911 Gadgets is nationwide. But, um, so yeah, consult with me first. If you're just, if you're thinking about paying for ads, don't do it yet until you have like 10 reviews and they need to be good. Um, and then uh, before you do that, call me first. You know, let's, let's talk about why or why you shouldn't, why you should or shouldn't advertise yet or ever, okay? There's different businesses that that have more customers than others. Some some businesses pay more. I mean, it all depends. You know, you gotta find your your niche niche. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. But I know how cell phone repair works, and I've done numerous businesses. Cell phone repair works. It's easy to do. It's not back breaking, and there's customers anywhere you go in the world. Okay, doesn't matter. If it's snowing outside, anywhere. If it's hot, if it's Whatever, you know, there's customers for it, okay? I'm sure if I was a gardener, I would be making a video on gardening. So this is just what I'm doing. This is what I think is good for me at the moment. And like I said, man, you go on a vacation, you can advertise on Craigslist or OfferUp. You know, you gotta know how to advertise on OfferUp so you don't get uh, 
flagged or something, right? Wherever you go, just post. Or just go to the store and tell people, hey, I fix phones, I'm here for a week. You need something. Oh my, you know? Now you might th be thinking about parts. You can probably find a local supplier. Maybe a local shop is willing to sell you the parts, especially if you say you're 911 gadgets. Or just tell the customer, hey, you know, I'm gonna order it, it'll get here tomorrow. You can do that, you know? Uh, or you can just, on your vacation, take one screen or two screens of each phone and one battery and you can make money that way, okay? It's just amazing, guys. So, um, you just take this little bag, you know? Whether you have a home business, a home business, or a mobile business, this is all you need, all right? Of course, if you're at home, you can create a nice desk and everything, and I'm sure you guys have seen my, my setup in some of the other videos, but I'm probably gonna add some footage here, you know, um, on how I uh, go ahead and greet my customers. Go look at some of the live videos, guys. I take a camera with me, and I go and interact with the customers, and you guys can see. Took a little bit longer, I'm sorry, but it came out perfect here. Check it out. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Right? Um, guys, right now with COVID, it's the, it's the perfect time to open a home business. So go check out some of those live videos that I posted recently and see the interaction with the customers. Let me give you guys a quick tip, all right? When you get a phone call, you want to screen people over the phone kind of, you know? So you want to see kind of what they sound like, you know? Gotta be very careful, cause you gotta know who you're inviting to your house, all right? And you don't wanna flaunt like a bunch of stuff, all right? Especially if it's somebody who, you know, you don't trust that much yet, okay? When I get a phone call and it, and it sounds like, like like disrespectful people, like they start cussing like, man, my effing phone, you know? That is just, man, I'm sick and tired of that. Boom, you know, like if they start cussing, like, and it, it's kind of weird, you know, oh, you know what, like, I'll meet you at Starbucks, or I'll meet you at In-N-Out or somewhere, okay? Um, so, you guys have to be careful with that, okay? If they call and say, yo, <laughs> hey, what's up, fool? I'm trying to get my homies phone fixed, fool. You know, like, oh, man, you got to be careful, you know? I'm trying to keep this like non-stereotypical or uh, non-judgmental, but from experience, guys, I, I want to be careful, you know, especially because that's your house, okay? Especially if you have family and kids and all that stuff. So if you have a dog, keep the dog in your office, you know, or keep, you know, just let people know that you've got protection, you know? Uh, get a sign that says, uh, we don't call 911. And then like two revolvers like that or something, you know, I've seen different signs. So just be careful. Try to screen people to the best of your ability. You got to be careful. You got to learn how to screen. These are one of the, some of the things that are probably critical for running a home repair business. I think if you're working from home, you need to record a video of getting to your house and coming to your door. Get a customer to volunteer to go ahead and, uh, and just, you know, record them parking, getting out of the car, coming to knock at your door and you getting the phone and telling them that you're gonna be right back. Record that and when you get a new call, send them the directions, send them your address and send them the link to that video. The easiest way is create a YouTube channel and just upload that video to your YouTube channel. It doesn't have to be public, it'll be unlisted, but copy the link and send the link to your future customers. Okay, if you guys need help with that, I will help you guys with that. That's how you gain your customers' trust. Because a lot of people say, hey man, oh, it's a home and this and that. Well, send them that video, give them a glimpse of your, what your office looks like. I'm gonna show you guys a glimpse of what mine looks like. The video was a little too long, so I revised it about 30 times. It was like three minutes at first, now it's only like 20 to 30 seconds. Check out the video, look. See, I show them my street. I tell them to turn right onto this driveway. And I tell them not to pass that stop sign or else they've gone too far. Then I pull up to the driveway, I show them where the office is at, they walk in. And then they get to see a glimpse of my office and me helping a customer. Somebody sitting on the chair just waiting, me working on the phone. Now the customer sees what's going on in there, who they're going to go see. And it looks more legit, guys. And of course, I had to add my little welcome logo on there. All right, so you get creative, revise the video as needed, but get creative, okay? The more personal you can get, in that video, the more trustworthy you're gonna be to your customers. By this time, you guys should already have those five things. 
Yelp, Google, Bing, website and phone number okay i've had too many people tell me well nobody uses websites my customer said they found me on facebook or my customer said they found me here look don't take your customer's word you know they don't know about marketing they don't know how they found you they don't know why you popped up on their search what i know for a fact is that having a website a bing a google a yelp a phone number all that together creates optimization for search engines for your business to pop up. It gives you online presence. So that's what you guys need. Whether you're just starting, whether you're already established, if you want more online presence, please do these five things. You won't regret it, trust me. Even if you don't use your website, just the fact that you have a website out there that's linked to your Yelp and your Bing and your Google, that's gonna give you ranking on Google search, Bing search, Yelp search, Anywhere you go, it'll help you. It helps each other out. Even if you don't use the website, it doesn't matter. Like I said, just create any any random name as long as it's linking back to your Yelp and all these listings have your phone number on there, people are gonna call you. And of course, social media is also great. You know, you can also put all these things together to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, all this stuff. The more, the better. Those five things give you credibility. Get those five things down right now okay if you want to join our license agreement you can say your 911 gadgets there's probably going to be two types of license agreements one is where you fully go 911 gadgets and the other one where you'll be a partner or an affiliate so let me know which one you're into which one you want as soon as you tell them you're part of 911 gadgets or you are 911 gadgets credibility is right there okay you'll get credibility because we're going to have a lot of us all right we already have a lot of people. I have so many applications already. I think there are over like 100 applications of people who wanna do it. And we're gonna discuss the details when we have the one-on-one -on -one conversation regarding the license agreement. So let me know, send me an email, contact at 911 Gadgets, subject line put, license agreement. That'll give you more credibility, even better for home and mobile repair businesses. If a customer wants you to come out to their house, this is all you need, okay? So, I tell them it's 50 bucks extra. Why? Because I'm in my house. I'm comfortable. I'm, you know, I'm working from home. I can go eat when I want to, right? If you want me to come out, I have to charge $50 extra for two reasons. One, you have to get out of my comfort zone to go please them, which is, you know, sometimes they understand and sometimes they're willing to pay. And number two is, what if you get a call and a customer wants to come right now, right? And you're out at another house and then you lost that repair. You see? You gotta have some cushion. So anyways, this is all I take. So in this bag, I carry the essential tools, which is just this little toolbox right here, right? And again, guys, that video linked in the description on how to open a cell phone repair business, it shows you all the tools you need. So these tools, I have these on the website, 911gadgets.com. It's a starter kit. And guys, oh, very important, the little heat gun. This is a little portable one. It's not wireless, but you know, it's nice and slim, you know, it fits in this bag. This is called uh, ABN Auto Body Now. So if you guys want it, go ahead and check it out. All right, so <laughs> that's about it, dude, dudes and dudettes. When I show up to a house with this little bag, they're like, what, that's all you need? Yes, that's all I need. Now give me my 50 bucks. No, I'm playing. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of customers watch this channel as well, so they understand, you know, this is a business, so. It is what it is, guys. I'm just teaching the trade and... All right, so this was more for like mobile repairs. Um, like if you wanna go to people's houses and stuff. Um, I have some videos, uh, they're titled. It's a segment called uh, House Calls. And, um, oh, one of my subscribers sent me that. 911 Gadgets mug, got my coffee. 100% Colombian coffee from Costco. delicious so if you guys have more questions regarding how to run a home business leave me a comment I will respond go to 911gadgets.com forward slash cell phone repair training get the $39 curriculum it's a five-day curriculum you keep the curriculum for life that's for you it's a, it's a, it's a PDF it's an ebook that I wrote and you also get access to the Facebook group which is private there's so many people trying to get in there, but I think it adds more value when people actually invest in themselves, which is why our group is the best group out there, okay? We care about each other. We're a family. If you care about yourself, 
you can care about somebody else. If you love yourself, you can love somebody else, okay? We're not, in our group, we're, we're really friendly. We keep it friendly so that, you know, if a kid wants to join, if a 14 year old wants to join, we are constantly moderating the group, making sure that it stays at a friendly level or PG, I guess, you know, PG 13 at least. Leave me some comments, I will answer, and I can make a part two if you guys have more questions that I didn't touch on. Go ahead and leave me a bunch of questions down there, and I'll do how to run a cell phone repair business from home, part two. Guys, I love you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and join our team. 911gadgets.com forward slash cell phone repair training. $39 five-day curriculum. Okay, guys, now... I'm going to show you guys what it's like and why you need to have a home business. All right, guys. All right. I'm just going to show you guys why I work from home. This is my father-in-law you guys saw in the first video that started it all, making the food. How do you feel, Suero? Oh! Suero, what do you have to tell them about, remember when we used to work in the shop? Yeah. And now from home, what do you have to say this about that? This is beautiful, this is life. And this, you guys gotta do it too. You gotta enjoy and relax and make little money. Right? You just gotta put your effort. Beautiful, this is mother nature. Like my son in law did it, you guys can do it too. See you later. Come here, girls. Come here, girls. Come here, girls. Ooh, come here, girls. You gonna come all the way down? What? Oh! All right, Bradley. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, get out of the way, payaso! <laughs> Woo! Nice! All the way! Alright guys, let's see what happens. I need gloves. Ah, oh, it's cold. Let's go see what the front looks like. Earlier during the recording, I had started a room in our Facebook group asking people what should I touch on during this video. Like I needed ideas, like what do you guys want to know so I can talk about it in this video. So I didn't realize it was still on and I randomly just heard a voice and I'm like, what, who's talking to me? And I look at my phone and it was one of the students in there. Uh, so go ahead and check it out. Look, I haven't gone outside since yesterday. Yeah. Huh? So you said you needed a help? Yeah, bro. What's up? Oh uh, well, uh, like you said, uh, I have started a home business basically. So I was just wondering, like, um, what the income will be like? You know, since you said uh, as a home business, you know, like, how much will the income be? How much will the like? The business that will come in and all that and ah. how to get it awesome bro yeah i'm gonna go ahead and touch on that then all right sounds good all right bro you want to show your face at all you want to be famous uh, well, hey, hold up hold up let me how do i turn on the camera there you go <laughs> all right you can show your face oh i'm Berto, and uh i'm in the facebook group um i bought the the five day program and it's really helped a lot i've taken notes and all that uh you can see all these notes are from your your uh, PDF file. I'm only interested in what you're doing right now. Any tips for new people? Just go for it, honestly. That's what I did. Look, last week I had nothing, and now I have this. It was it was pretty cheap. I ran through two hundred dollars for all this, you know. If you have a minimum wage job like me right now, uh, and you're a teenager, and you want to like experience something new, you can always try this out. That's what's up, brother. Hey, thank you, thank you for showing your face, man. You're gonna have paparazzi outside your door now because you know how we have like ten million subscribers already. Nah. <laughs> <laughs>
One day, man, one day. All right, brother. Hey, well, stay safe, man, and uh, we'll see you in the group. All right, yeah, we'll take care, man. All right, Have brother. Fun. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, like I was saying, I was about to go out here. This thing is, and you guys can see it's like stuck right there. I'm gonna jump over. Oh, look at how deep this is, guys. Whoa. There's a cabin. Babe, be careful. Be careful. You do, right? Use your feet, Bradley. All right, Devin. Woo! This Here is the real deal now. This is the real deal. Let's go, guys. Guys, my hands are freezing already, so. Oh. I gave up my gloves. When wifey subliminally lets everybody know this handsome man is taken. <laughs> Just kidding, babe. All right, let's go. All right, let's go, guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh man, I gotta get up. Go, Bradley, help me. Go. Yeah? Go. Alright, oh, let's go. We need some. Whoa, okay, I can see no, now. No, no. 